Alright guys, so I, uh, we were obviously switched over from those Eggies Amber. Uh, we went back and bought another 12 pack. And we got some Tecate Cerveza. So let's see how that goes for us. It pours like a clear lager. Uh, <coughs> there was head this time, but it probably won't last for long. Um, it's probably gonna dissipate. As you can see, the carbonation makes it look a little bit like champagne, but it's not. So let's go ahead and take a drink. Yeah, it's a big difference from um, those Nike Amber. When you drink um, Tecate, you can taste the alcohol, you can taste the malt, uh, you can taste, um, well, you really can't taste much. It's real, as opposed to uh, Tecate, who has a, a little body, and then you go to uh, Tecate, has very little body. Um, the aroma, you could barely smell it. It uh, basically smells like uh, flavored water. But let's take another drink here. The thing about the Cate, I've read a lot of reviews about it, and a lot of people diss it. It doesn't smell bad, it doesn't taste bad, it's refreshing. It tastes like fresh water. Uh, obviously, there's, there's some alcohol in it. But it just tastes fresh, and it goes good with any food that you're considering. Uh, for our part, we're having carne asada, we're having cucumbers, we're having tortillas, we're having salsa, and it goes well with that. So, if you want a refreshing beer on a hot summer day with your carne asada, if you're doing something different, uh, if you're doing some bratwurst, you're doing some sausages, it's just perfect. Whatever you're cooking on the grill. I think Tecate would do good for you. Now, if you're looking for a beer that has flavor, if you're just drinking the beer by itself, then obviously Tecate is not where you want to go. But for me, it hit the spot. Once again, this is a review on beersandbars.com. And I thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, have a great beer. Yeah. Still recording.